Taking right the pin. Need some energy. That's right, Wiz. That's how you do it. Here's Johnson, currently averaging almost six points a game. MP, no good. 144 and left to play in the first quarter. It's Beal on the wing. And the three off target. Charlotte's gone 105 from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. And Joe Johnson unselfish with that play. You can call his number just about any time, but turning down a good shot for a great one, good on you, Joe. Morris against MP. Outside, Brzingis. Nice ball movement by Washington. Brzingis with a screen on Johnson. Just four to shoot. Good work there as it goes. Kuzma's got seven points. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. MP, no good. And so it's Perzingis. He'll bring it up for the Wizards. Morris passes to Kispert. Morris with the screen for Kispert. Down low, Williams with the steal. And a wide open look for MP. The basket MP. good off the assist from Hayward. MP's got his second basket of the game. Yeah, it's not only when you get the ball, it's the angle you take, and right there, MP took the best one he could. Morris kicks to Beal. There's the triple. Rebound by Williams. Hornets leading by three. A three from MP. And it's the Hornets another three. Reminding defenses that they have to respect his range. MP took it real confident from deep. Beal can't get it to go. Defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets with a six point lead. Joe Wizard. 18. The visiting team. 24. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle steps for the Hornets. They're controlling the pace of this game, pushing the ball up court and getting good looks in early offense. Sometimes the offense can be keyed by just quick possession. So you get a steal and you can get out in transition. You seem to be very focused on that end of the floor. On the court for Charlotte, we've got to Rogier. Cody Martin is out there with P.J. Washington. Then it's MP, and it's Richards in at the five spot. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alden. Thanks, Kevin. Wizards ownership has promised to never hit the hard reset button. We saw from teams in recent years like the Sixers. But the fact remains that this is a franchise that last enjoyed a 50-win season in 1979. So for the patient diehard fans in the DMV, seems the wait for a true contender may take a lot longer. Kevin? Yeah. Well, time will tell, David. Thanks. Something that the Wizards struggled with last year, Brent, was a lack of consistency. Yeah, constantly shifting the rosters and starting lineups. Obviously a new coach, so tactically some different things being deployed. You've got to find a dependable foundation and Training camp in the early part of the season for this team. Really, really important. From deep. Rebounded by the Wizards. That one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. Gisbert kicks to good. Good on that shot. And with that, the Hornet lead is cut down to just eight points with the bucket from Chris Depps, Porzingis. MP from deep three-point land. And that's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. MP's got nine points now in the quarter. Now, here's Goodwin, covered by MP. Outside, Porzingis, and there's the pass to Kispert. And the dunk by Kispert. There's a feel that Porzingis has to the game, and the more comfortable he is, 
in these kind of settings, he'll rack up some assists. And here's MP for three. And, and another three, three for Charlotte. How about the last five made shots have all been threes. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Passes it to Gaffer. And here's Nunn. Down. And that's a little like a fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Here's Goodwin. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. MP outside. And another three for Charlotte. All these threes. Time out. Time out. Time out on the floor. Wizards. Time out. I hope you don't think you've done something, MP. Just don't wait. Checked in for Daniel Gafford. Beal comes in for Kispert. DeLon Wright, he's checked in for Kendrick Nunn. And Morris subbed in for Goodwin. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Williams, he's checked in for Nick Richards. Gordon Hayward comes in for P.J. Washington. Kelly Oubre is checked in for Cody Martin. And it's ball in for Rozier. And here's Morris for three. Hayward grabs the board. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. MP, good. Bottom line, you need shooters on your team who can space the floor. Oh, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. And they get it. The shot, no good. Hayward with some nice D. And so it's Hayward with it. He'll bring it up for Charlotte. They host the 76ers after this game. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Joe Johnson, he's checked in for Charlotte. Checking in for the away team. 50. So far in this one. MP has been That's leading the, the first half with the score. Your wizard. 28. The away team. 51. When I look at the Wizards, they didn't get the email. Now, looking at the first half of play in our featured game. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to... And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find... Zephyr's checked in for Washington. Goodwin comes in for DeLon Wright. And a switch here also for Charlotte. MP's checked in. But as we all know, you were a former slam dunk contest champion. So with that in mind, what was your take on the 2022 contest? Well, I think there was some great dunkers out there, Kevin. And every year it's like that. I know... From year to year, it takes a lot of criticism to the contest, and uh, certainly there are years that are better than others, but the skill of those guys on the floor for them to go out and put on an exhibition, always appreciated as a fan. Kispert is out there with Kyle Kuzma. Then there's Daniel Gafford. Then there's Bradley Beal, and it's Goodwin in at the point. That's the group on the floor right now for Washington. Pass to Gafford. I see him, I see him. To the middle. Makes it off the glass. Goodwin's got his second basket of the night. And that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and finish. And there's the bucket MP. from MP. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. And for Terry Rozier, all of his efficiency numbers are way up the last couple years. Here's a guy who was just 37% from the field during his time in Boston. Washington kicks to MP. And again, Charlotte MP. with the triple. 
And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. That's a good one. Beyond the arc. Good. It's Beal picking up the assist. Beal's got three assists now in this one. And the numbers of Terry Rozier. As you mentioned, they're getting better hit by Booker. Scary Terry's three-point shooting is way up. And that helps MG. big time. With, with experience, Rozier isn't forcing things offensively, becoming a much better decision maker. Kispert, wide open, he fires. Off target from three-point range. For Charlotte, they've got nearly everything to drop this quarter. They're seven of eight from the floor since halftime. MP, no good. Washington's gone three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. Good one passes to Gaffer. He can't get it to go. And the Hornets now going the other way. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets room like that, you got to look out. Gisbert kicks to good. Here's the three. The rebound by Richards. The Hornets have gone 8 of 10 shooting here in the second half. Very strong. And the basket MP. by MP. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Here's Goodwin. And that one, good. Goodwin's got seven points here in this quarter. Not sure which clips they watched at halftime, but he has figured out how to attack the D, and they kept him in check in the first half. He's flipped it. Oh, what an impressive triple drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And he could not get that one to go. Nick Richards. Second personal foul. Third team foul. And at the line for the Wizards. Two shots. So no problem for Charlotte as they get 